Okay, just before I really get to the thing that I want to talk about, <laughs> this video blog in particular, I broke one of my first rules that I was going to try and follow in video blogging, and I had hoped and I thought that I could do them all in one take. So just note to self, note to anybody who decides to watch this, this is my fourth try at this one, and the process so far, <laughs> uh, I thought I could kind of get the spontaneous thought process out and get it captured on my iPhone and I have a small window of opportunity while uh, my family is busy doing a couple of things. I thought I would just get one of these things posted. So really, this is like my three version 3.75 for this one post. So I'm going to try and get this all in one all in one take this time because uh, I actually have some errands to run. But I have some thoughts I want to get out of my head. So th the thing that's been rattling around in my brain this week is, is, a, is a mixture of a couple different things. First and foremost, listening to a podcast this week from Roland Chidiak. And in the podcast, he was talking about what it takes beyond the teaching just to, to stay focused to the work that supports teaching. And in, and in particular, this episode was talking about the grind as in when you're when you're when you know you're doing lesson planning and you know that you're going to be interacting with kids and you know that you're going to be talking to parents and you know all these things that are kind of specific to the teaching when you decide to do something outside of that so it could be the video blogging it could be doing a podcast it could be writing it could be a lot of these things that are kind of extra to your teaching but are integral to you improving your teaching the grind becomes the gotta get it done doesn't matter if it's the editing of this video blog it doesn't matter if it's the interviewing that Roland is doing so well Roland Chidiak connects by the way but the grind and that sort of dedicated semi-scheduled gonna get it done white knuckled have to get this piece out and work that through your time management of being a dad, being a friend, being a husband, and sort of being self. So that's the first part, the grind. The second part was around a question that I saw posted on Twitter this week. And the question, I think it might have been a retweet. It was a retweet. I don't want to misquote who said it, uh, so I'll just withhold. But the, the essence of the tweet was... Can you name five people who are doing your job better than you and what can you learn from them? Bit of a mind blower. Gave me a real pause because in my brain I thought to myself, absolutely, absolutely, I want to know these people. I want to find these people. I know they exist. So that's part two to this. The third part is, okay, how do I tie together the grind, so which is just the work, and then the finding these individuals that could improve my work, and how am I gonna make that work in my current schedule? So the truth of it is I can't really, I can't really carve out any extra time because this just life is just too busy right now. It's just too busy, too many things going on. Um, Busy at home, busy at work, busy in life. So if I don't have the extra time, how do I make better use of the time that I have becomes the question. And ultimately, this is always the question I'm imagining for anyone that's involved in education. How do you how do you sort of rejig within the box, not necessarily get outside the box, because outside the box sometimes is a lot of fun, but you still have all that stuff in the box that you have to take care of. So I'm gonna try and do this, improvise and rejig within the box. So here's, here's my pursuit, what I'm gonna try I'm gonna try it as as a as a as a this semester only. So this will be a professional, self-imposed professional learning opportunity where I am going to actively, actively try and apprentice under five people that I think right now are doing not only fantastic work unto themselves, but really I do think represent parts of what my current job entails. So I can't, I can't directly work 
like I'll be able to directly work with one of them. But I can't directly work with all five of them, but all five of them represent componentry of my work that uh, I believe I just, I wanna learn. And I don't know, they may see this video, video blog. Um, I may tweet them and say that I am intentionally doing this. But here's, here's my list, here's my list for, for this semester. So this is going to be active learning. I'm gonna call it an apprenticeship. They may or may not agree, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and use them as a little bit of like my master class in professional development. And I'm gonna have to stick to a digital model because, well, I don't think I'm actually, one of them I will see frequently, but the other four, not likely that I'm going to have any direct connection with them apart from talking online. So first off the top, I'm going to I'm going to keep following Roland Chidiak. Roland Chidiak has uh, I've been talking to for a little while online, just some Twitter conversations. I've I've listened to uh, quite a few of his podcasts, and I'm really fascinated with his journey from podcast one to where he is right now. And I mean his inter interviewees are fascinating as well and I love to hear how he talks about not only how these individuals are connecting to their own work and their circles outside of that but how he has connected them and and what he has sort of how he has grown through that so Roland Roland I'm gonna learn from you I'm gonna listen I'm gonna get through your podcast now bear in mind none of this is gonna be sort of creeper lurker kind of stuff I'm just gonna continue to connect and continue continue to talk and continue to sort of learn from all four of these individuals that um, I'm hoping that nothing will change other than I'm kind of saying here's my five that I'd like to follow follow and learn from in the next in the next few months second Alice Keeler Alice Keeler has become really a bit of a cornerstone in my learning around Google tools she posts a ton of stuff. She supports a ton of people. She presents all the time. Her website is comprehensive. And if I needed to know, even this past weekend, I had to find something out about uh, using sheets, spreadsheets, couldn't figure out, bashing my brain, trying to figure this one out. And uh, she was there. She was there. She helped me. She helped me to understand what I needed to do. She gave me a quick fix and it worked. So, so far that's Roland Chidiak, Alice Keeler. Third person, Will Gourley. Will Gourley is a phenomenal, phenomenal sort of uh, bundle of energy and elementary teacher in my school board. He's involved with TED, TEDx and TEDx for Education, does online lessons. And just in general, I find myself kind of simpatico with his philosophy of teaching, his intentionality in making sure student voice is heard and working with students and getting students to sort of bring their best to the table. And I'm fascinated by also his involvement with, with TED and all the great work that that uh, organization does. So Roland Chidiak, Alice Keeler, and uh, Will Gurley so far. Number, geez, I cannot drop this. Oh, um, Roland Chidiak, would you believe it? I'm dropping the, the, the fourth person. So I'm gonna jump to the fifth person. Fifth person is a colleague of mine. It's the CYW that I work with and I am fascinated by her work. She's phenomenally phenomenally gifted in connecting with the students. She has a deep reserve of not only understanding people but I think understanding the tools that help people understand their actions and understand their um, their behaviors and understand what their triggers are and so savvy in the way that she connects it to being in the classroom with me and I really feel that um, without mentioning her name uh, she may give me permission at some point but uh, I w I'm going to sort of really again master class under her and watch and learn and listen and ask questions and work to include that within my uh, my pedagogy and I guess finally Roland Chidiak, Will Gurley, uh, my CYW that I work with, Alice Keeler, and a final person that I have read kind of in bits and pieces, like a lot of what's being posted, it's more of a, a digital, I would say sort of digital fanboy, but really, really got me hooked on having a presence in the digital world where you are an advocate, just an, an ardent advocate for students and an ardent advocate for, for students that may not necessarily get their voice out there. And you know it, you know you have to represent them. And 
this individual um, name is Jam Gamble, Jamila, and she is a phenomenally gifted presenter, speaker, host. The stuff that she posts about teaching, I really enjoy it. And every opportunity that she gets, she is representing, representing the child in education. No matter the challenge, no matter the learning style, no matter the um, socioeconomic positioning, she represents and she represents so well. So there's my five, okay? Roland Chidiak, Will Gourley, Alice Keeler, uh, Jam Gamble, and my CYW that I work with. I'm coming to your masterclass. I'm really looking forward to it. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna learn a ton. Thanks.